Talking about the choices we make provides me a perfect segue into another choice that we as Floridians are asked to make. Just as we chose Jesus Christ over any other good in life, we are now called upon to defend the sanctity of life above all challenges. I'm talking now, my dear friends, about Amendment 4 to the Florida Constitution, which proposes to make abortion a right under the state constitution. It says, no law shall prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health as determined by the patient's health care provider. I strongly believe that this proposed amendment is extreme and written in a manner that is misleading and dangerous. The most important thing is that that's the Constitution, if it passes, it would eliminate any and all Florida laws that are contrary to it in any way. If it passes, all Florida laws regarding abortion would have to be consistent with it, and any law that is not consistent with it would be struck down. So therefore, my dear friends, consider this. I'm not talking politics here. I don't care which party you choose. That's your choice. But I want you to be informed. As Catholics, we have an obligation to form our conscience properly. And to me, this amendment is a dangerous one on four counts. One, it allows for extremely late-term abortion when a child could survive outside the womb. Abortion through the 25 week um, of pregnancy, almost third trimester, would be on demand and no excuses needed. Just, just say the patient is sick or he has morning sickness or whatever and you know mental illness or she doesn't feel good, go for it. Number two, it jeopardizes health and safety protections for women and minors. Number three, it removes doctors from the abortion's decision. It replaces them with an undefined category called healthcare provider who could very well be anybody in the abortion clinic, staffer. Four, it eliminates parental consent for a minor to have an abortion. So far, the parental consent is necessary, but now this amendment says they just need a notification. They don't need to have parental consent. I ask you, my dear friends, because you are my brothers and sisters, I love you so much that I, I want you to be informed about it. This Amendment 4 is dangerous. And our Bishop John Noonan and all the bishops of Florida invite us to reflect on this. This proposal directly contradicts the gospel of life and the teachings of the Catholic Church. In response to this critical moment, we are called not only to oppose this amendment, but also to actively promote a culture of life rooted in the profound truths of the Catholic faith. The sacredness of life is not, has never been, and can never be relegated to a political issue. Thus, it is entirely appropriate to address this as a matter of learning and understanding of our Catholic faith. Hence, I request you, my dear brothers and sisters, again, please make every effort to go, get to know what is at stake. Earlier this year in Ohio, an effort to adopt a similar adopt amendment to that state's constitution was successful. They passed it. Later on, interviewing people, analysis showed that a large majority, about 80% of the church-going people, were deceived into voting for it because they put it in such a way that it deceived them. That's the main reason why I come to you today, my dear friends. And this amendment also has potential dangers in it. Dr. Grassi Poso Christi, a board certified radiologist and a licensed physician, wrote an opinion piece for the Miami Herald article in which he says, 
or he warns the readers that the proposal would have devastating effects on our patients for generations to come, explaining how the language of the amendment hides nearly unrestricted access to abortion during a woman's entire pregnancy. I ask you to pray, pray for our women, pray for the unborn children. Let us pray for our voters in Florida and for us that we might make an informed decision in line with our belief. I love Florida and I hate to see that this state will become a place where anybody can come and have abortion done. This will be a watershed moment for Florida. Amendment 4 is bad for women and bad for Florida.